Hey guys, Clint here again. I want you to see this video. It happened August 1st, 2020 in the city of Henderson. Henderson police, they attend a call, drunk guy. Very intoxicated, it appears on the video. He's walking around with a dog and a large butcher knife. He's walking around the streets. Somebody calls it in. Um, so the Henderson police attend and deal with this fella. Watch the video. Come on back. We're going to break it down. Thank you. What's your emergency? We've got a gentleman down on the ground, walking. And Do you know this person? Do you know him? Do not. He collapsed. Did he fall or is he passed out? What do I? What's that uh, noise he's, I hear? He's trying. He's combative, but he seems like he needs medical attention. Okay. So, what's the noise I hear? Is that the patient? Uh. Or is that the dog yes. barking? I can't hear what it's I hear. It's the dog barking. I see. Okay, so he and collapsed. And the gentleman's down and he's got a knife. And he's got what? A knife? Like a butcher oh. knife? And he's been hurt, he said. But he's got two dogs that are loose that are barking. Okay, just a moment. Now, did he fall or did he pass out? Do we know? Uh, it looked like he was walking, trying to get some help, and then he just fell. He's in the driveway right now. Okay, one moment. One moment. Hey, stay back. Hey, stay back, man. We don't want to hurt you. We don't want to hurt you, bud. Stay. No, hey. Hey, stay. Hey, no, don't do it, man. Don't do it, please. Just drop the knife for me. Hey, don't do it, man. Can you drop the knife, please? Drop it, please. Drop it, man. Don't come towards me, please. Don't come towards me. Drop the knife. Please. What's his name? Get the gun out. Get your gun out. Don't. Hey, stay right there, bud. Stay right there, please. Stay right there. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Just, just stay down. Stay down. What's your name? Stay there. What's your name? Just stay down, bud. Don't do it, don't do it. Hey, just keep that knife down for me, okay? It's okay. Hey, we can work through what's going on. Just keep that knife down. Do you know this guy? No, I don't. Okay. Hey, hey, can you guys get inside for me? Just in, I don't want him to come towards you. Is this your dog? Hey, just stay down, bud. Stay down for me, okay? Don't don't get up, okay? Just stay right there. What's what's your name? Sir, what's what's your name, sir? Sir, what's your name? It's okay. It's okay, pup. Sir, what happened tonight? to this house. He's not connected to this house at all. Sir. Sir. Sir, what's your name? Sir, what, what's your name, sir? Sir, what's going on? Sir, can you talk to me? Sir, stay down. Sir, I need you to stay down. Sir. Sir. Sir, please stay back. Sir, please stay back. Don't come closer, please. 
Sir, I don't want to shoot you. Please, don't come this way. Sir, can you can you drop the knife for me? Sir, don't. Sir, don't. Please don't come towards me, sir. Sir, drop the knife. Sir, drop it. Sir, drop it. No, sir. Sir, don't. Please, get on the ground. Don't. Sir, thank you. Stay down. No, stay down. Stay away from it. Stay away from it. Stay away from it. Taser, 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 taser. Taser. Get away from it. Control, Sam, 1344, shot fired. Okay, right off the bat, I love how the police officers attend and they give themselves distance between them and the subject. I love that. Distance is everything. Distance is key. The more distance you have, the more time you have. Distance is time. Action always beats reaction. And the more distance you have, the better off you are. There's no need to get close. You don't have to get close. And they didn't. I like his negotiation skills. Hey, man, we can work this out. We can work this out. I don't want to shoot you. Put the knife down. Please put the knife down. I like that part. Taser, taser, taser. Taser, 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 taser. Taser, taser, taser means... You've probably heard that a lot. When you ta when a police officer tasers somebody, they go, taser, taser, taser. And that's just telling the, the other police officers that are on scene that I've deployed the taser. You're reminding the police officers that you've hit the taser. It wasn't your gun. It wasn't anything else. I've deployed the taser. Taser, taser, taser. It almost appeared that he was a little too far away for it to work. But it did work. It hit him. And it dropped him. And it only worked for a couple of seconds. At first, before... before Okay, when I watched this video, I thought at first, why did he taser him there? I'm going to be honest with you. I had to watch the video a bunch of times. Like, why'd he tase him there? He was complying. He threw the knife away. He's complying. Just tell him to keep on coming forward. Why would you run up and pepper spray him, tase him, use a baton, anything else? He threw the knife away. You told him to throw the knife away, and he did. But when I watch it back, you can see that he throws a knife in front of him. And then he go it looks like he goes back to get the knife. And I know what the police officer was thinking. Holy shit, he's going to grab that knife again. Here's my chance to taser him. Please, get on the ground. Don't, sir. Thank you. Stay down. No, stay down. Stay away from it. Stay away from it. Stay away from it. So that's what he does. He goes in. He cuts the distance in half. And he tasers him. Starts out perfectly. But what I don't like, and I hate criticizing. Maybe they're taught to do this. But he's double fisting. He's got a gun in one hand and a taser in the other. That's what it appears. It doesn't appear that when he pulled out his taser that he, maybe he did. Maybe he, maybe he put his firearm away, but it doesn't appear that way. Looks like he's got a gun in one hand, taser in the other. And I don't like that. Focus on one option and one option only, either the gun or the taser. And if it's going to be the taser, this is why. One of five tasers fail. He goes up, and that taser ended up failing after about one or two seconds. Now what do you do? You can't reload. You got a gun in your hand. If you don't have a gun in your hand, then it's easy. You see it doesn't work. You rip you rip out the old one. You put in the new one. And boom, you, you, you let him have it a second time. And the great thing about that is you got lethal over, overwatch by two other, two other cops. And if that doesn't work, or if it, if it's not working while you're reloading, then you, sh then those other two cops, can shoot them. Focus on one thing, not two things. The moment his taser failed, that police officer knew for a fact 
He made it up in his mind that he was going to shoot bad guy. He was too close to him now. He feared death and grievous bodily harm. And he knew when he went for his sidearm, his firearm, that he was going to shoot him. How do I know this? Because when he pulls out his gun, before it's even pointed to bad guy, he has his finger on his trigger. You have your finger on your trigger, you know you're going to shoot it. He's ready to go. Distance, is, it's too close now. He didn't feel comfortable. The shooting was justified. I'm conflicted with this one. Only because I know if I would have attended that call, I would have did something different. Maybe it, maybe it would have been wrong what I did different, but I would have did something different. I would have, I would have focused on my taser. I would have told my backup to focus on their guns. I would have tasered the guy. I would have known it didn't work, and I would have reloaded, and I would have tasered again if I had another chance to do that. So I'm a little... I'm a little conflicted. It's a weird one for me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Bye-bye.